What's up, y'all? Listen, I wanted to drop this video real quick and discuss the smear campaign. And the reason that I wanted to do this video is because this is something that I actually struggle with in my own personal situation. And I'm hoping that it will help some of you guys kind of get past always feeling the need to defend yourself in the smear campaign. Because what I found is the best response to the smear campaign is usually no response. So um, first, I want to say if you guys hear all the rumbling and all the chewing in the background, that's the dog. He's gotten a lot bigger since my last video. And unfortunately, he just likes to hang out right up underneath me. So he makes it he makes it a little bit difficult to try to do videos because he's always like chewing on a bone or something like that. And if I try to put him outside, he's just going to bark and, and bang on the door to try to get back in just to get back, you know, up underneath me. So um this is probably the most quiet that I'll be able to get him while trying to shoot these videos. So, I'll, you know, if you guys hear the chewing and, and the, you know, the rumbling of his bones in the background, I just want to, you know, apologize in advance for that. But first, um, like I said, I wanted to get into the smear campaign. And one of the things that I know about empaths and one of the things that I know about myself is that... Um, I am usually very easy going and I let, I let a lot of stuff go, that kind of thing. But one thing that I always would defend is, you know, when people are trying to bully people and when people are trying to tarnish somebody's character or tarnish my own personal character. So I would, you know, a lot of times I let a lot of stuff go, but if I saw somebody being bullied or if I, you know, if I felt like somebody was trying to bully me in any type of way, I was always going to stand up and deal with that problem like head on. I was always more of a fighter, like, you know, how they say um, people have natural responses of like fight and flight. Some people like will just shy away and run away from any type of um, situation or whatever the case may be. I will step into certain situations to like defend my honor, to defend my name, um, to defend, you know, my loved ones that somebody's trying to take advantage of or pick on that kind of thing. Or if somebody's trying to like take advantage of me in any type of way, I'll like step into that. And so I, you know, my natural environment turned me into a bit of a fighter, you know what I'm saying? As a young man, you know what I'm saying? I had to I always felt like I had to kind of like protect myself uh, because I kind of, you know, I grew up in a, in a really rough and dangerous environment. So I had to like protect my family members, protect myself, that kind of thing. So um, just coming up in that environment, it turned me into someone who, you know, played defense. I, like I said, I, I said that in several other videos is that I never was like, the offender. I, I never wanted to, you know, I went, I never went out trying to like bully people or anything like that. But what, what I did was I was always the type of person that would stand up to bullies and stand up to people that, you know, were trying to take advantage of people in that kind of thing. And when I started going through the smear campaign, I realized that I realized early, early on that when I tried to explain myself to certain flying monkeys, they had already chosen sides, basically. And because they had already chosen sides, they didn't want to hear nothing that I had to say. Like, as soon as I started trying to open my mouth and explain anything about anything that was going on in my own personal situation, they had already, they were kind of shunning me away, like, yeah, whatever, we don't, we don't want to hear it. Like, you know, um, you know what you were getting involved with, that kind of, it was like, it was literally like they had no time for anything that I had to say on that situation. So, one, I, I noticed early on, like very early when I tried to explain myself to like the first one or two flying monkeys that none of them were going to hear me out. None of them were on my side. None of them were going to listen to anything that I had to say. So it kind of forced me into a situation of like, OK, let me just be quiet then. let me just sit back and see how this is going to play out. So because, you know, um, because I kind of fell back and sat back on it, like I, I feel like. I would have made the smear campaign worse by putting my own paintbrush in there and continuing to smear it around by telling all the flying monkeys like, no, I didn't do this. No, I didn't say that. No, I didn't, you know, because basically she was, you know, the narcissist that I was dealing with was trying to paint the picture that I thought that I was better than everybody. And the reason that 
she cut me off and you know that kind of thing is because you know i looked down on her and all of her flying monkeys i thought that me and my family were better than them that kind of thing so she had already kind of painted that narrative and painted that picture excuse me i got something in my eye y'all but um she had basically painted that narrative and painted that picture already to the point where Nothing that I tried to say, you know, coming back into the situation, nothing that I tried to say to the flying monkeys was even remotely being received. Like they didn't even want to hear anything from me. So the fact that they had um, already basically chosen sides, like I say, they pushed me into a situation where I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna just sit back and let them, I'm sorry y'all, <laughs> the dog is uh, being a little rambunctious under there, but basically, um, it pushed me into a situation where I literally had to fall back and just sit back and just let the situation play out. In me letting the situation play out, I learned that that's where my power was. My power was in the fact of not responding to them. My power was in the in you know me continuing to be the person that I always am and be the person that you know. Um, like basically my character spoke against everything that she was you know all of the smear campaign everything that she was trying to say about me when I went in there and I tried to defend myself in the smear campaign I was making more of a mess of the situation than what needed to be and I know that's kind of hard for a lot of empaths to understand because we want to you know always protect our name and we always want to like listen i'm a good person i've always had good intentions for everybody around me that kind of thing and for somebody to come in and just start telling lies on you and start you know um you know telling blatant flat out lies and things that you would never you know things that you would never even think about doing that kind of thing it's it gets you to the point where you feel like, you know, you want to defend yourself. You want to, you know, stand on business on that kind of thing because it's not something petty. This, they're talking about, like, your character. They're talking about the person that you have always shaped yourself into being this good-hearted, good-natured person. And then all of a sudden, this one particular person who, you know, comes into your life and they come in and start, you know, doing all types of things to destroy your life and then run back to their flying monkeys and basically flipped the whole situation on you saying that it was all you and it was all your fault. So I struggled with that at the very beginning before I knew what I was dealing with, but it was very short lived. And some of you guys, I feel like, you know, when I hear your stories, some of you guys are feeding too much into the smear campaign. And basically, like I said earlier, you are putting your own paintbrush and you're dipping it in all different colors and you're like smearing it all over the place even more and you're making the situation worse by even responding to the situation. So once I started realizing that what I was dealing with was nonsense and these people were dead set on believing just anything that this person said and you know, none of it even made sense in my situation. Like none of it, once I realized that these people's opinions didn't affect me in any type of way. They didn't affect my situation in any type of way. And all they were there for was to be a blind supporter to this particular person who obviously has a lot of severe mental issues, that kind of thing. Um, it just gave me a wherewithal with inside of myself to just pull back and let things kind of unfold the way that they did. And with me, like I said, with me letting things unfold the way that they did, it kind of killed the smear campaign for me because my character was shining through everything. All the bad stuff that she was trying to say about me, my character um, was, was shining through all of that. Like. I would still come around even though her family was treating me bad and they were treating me mean and being nasty to me, that kind of thing. I was still like, hey, how y'all doing? Hey, what's up? I'm still fist bumping everybody. I'm still dapping everybody up. I'm still hugging, hugging, you know, hugging mamas and kissing babies, basically. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I'm, I'm still being myself throughout all of that kind of stuff. And I could have easily taken the treatment that I was given personally and 
started, you know, going off on the mother and getting getting into arguments with the family members and making things worse. But I felt like, you know, like I said, that's when you are, you know, you're, you're basically uh, smearing it yourself and now you're making it worse yourself. So, like I said, when I fell back and just started and, and just continued to basically live my life, I didn't feed into the drama of the smear campaign. So when I, when I actually did that, it's like now her stories had no legs. The things that she wanted people to believe about me, it didn't go anywhere because her story literally had, you know, um, no validity to him because my character was shining through so much. Like I'm still taking care of my son. I'm still, um, you know, pulling up and being there for the things that I am invited to or whatever the case may be. And every time that I do show up and every time that I do come, I'm coming with class. I'm coming, you know, I'm not coming in negative spirits or any, any of that kind of stuff, regardless of what they've done to me. I just accepted the fact that these, you know, that's the way that they were going to treat me. And basically I, I didn't internalize the way that they were treating me because I knew I did nothing to deserve the, you know, the treatment that they were giving me. So obviously there was some problems going on internally that made them feel like they needed to treat uh, an external person the way that they did. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I just wanted to get that video out the way because I know a lot of you guys struggle with you know the fact of you want to defend your own and you want to defend your name but in a lot of in a lot of circumstances in a lot of situations your character is all the defense you need you don't need to go explaining to people you don't need to go explaining to people that you know you didn't do x y and z you don't need to go explaining to people that that's not your character that's not who you are that kind of thing your character is always going to be your best representation man so i love y'all i wanted to get that uh video out the way because like i said i know some of you guys are probably struggling with that in the smear campaign and i will be back and tap tapping with y'all in a minute man love y'all hey and subscribe to the channel man if y'all new here and y'all haven't um, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, man, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I will see y'all in a minute.